Hi, Dave Oates, head researcher at Find a Monkey. <clears throat> Just wanted to answer a question this morning, which is one we get all the time, uh, but it's definitely worth addressing again because it's an important one. Um, and it's what kind of information or how much information do you need to be able to find uh, a birth relative? Um, quite often when we're looking at these ones, we're talking about birth fathers who perhaps uh, clients have never known, never grown up with. Um, and I say, you, generally speaking, you can find something with quite little information. There are three basic facts it's always good to know. One is a name, the other is an age, and the other is an, a location or an area where that person's connected to. Ideally, where the person was born, because if you can find a birth record for somebody, it becomes a lot easier then to try and find out where they might be now. Um, they're the three basic things, but obviously not everybody has those details. Um, and so I always say start by gathering information, speak to the people who can provide more. Uh, that can be difficult sometimes because it's something that some people don't want to talk about. Um, but if you can just gather information together that that you can, ask friends, ask family, whoever might have anything, any snippets of information that could help. Knowing things like if the person had uh, brothers or sisters or and what their names were, their parents' names, any old addresses that you might have. If that person's named on documents of yours, then you know you can find them that way. Getting a copy of perhaps your original birth certificate could help if you don't have a copy of that. Um, there's lots, lots of ways to gather information. And then what you have to do is use that information to try and find the current whereabouts. Um, obviously, checking things, birth, marriages and deaths is a really good one. Trying to find a marriage for somebody in the, you know, from when you last knew them is quite helpful. That can often provide addresses and more clues for somebody. Um, using death records, it's always worth checking those because you never know when you're looking for somebody what could have happened to them and if you've lost contact for a long time, it's certainly worth checking those. That they're, for England and Wales, they're fairly easy to check up to 2006. After that time, it does become a little trickier um, without knowing a, a full date of birth um, and making an application to the General Register Office for, for that information. Um, in Scotland, it's quite a bit easier because their records are accessible online at Scotland's People uh, website and they're far more up to date. I can't quite remember exactly where they go to, but I think it's at least 2018. So you, you can find out a lot more generally through their website. Um, but yeah, hopefully you find those details useful. Somebody also mentioned what if you don't have any of those, um, what if you don't even know a name or you know the basic information, um, and there's still hope for those people now uh, with the with the use of family history DNA testing. Which, if you want to know more about that, then check out one of the other videos that we've done about that. We've done quite a few now. Um, yeah, so check out one of the other videos if you don't know any information, because there's possibly still other ways that you can you can find the person you're looking for. Hope you found that helpful and if you've got any questions please let me know uh, by putting in the comments or emailing us and we'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.